Hello guys, today we will talk about Laravel Starter Kit, Laravel Jetstream. It's very popular, it's official by Taylor Artwell and Laravel team, and it has some hidden features or not so well known features which I decided to list in this video. So this is the default, you install Jetstream and you can register with fake fill or chrome extension for example, and you land on a dashboard. Now let's see inside what things Jetstream has inside. I will list a few. First thing is the config for disable and enable features. If you go to config fortify, there are actually two files to enable or disable features. There's config jetstream and there's config fortify. So there are features by jetstream which you can enable and disable. For example, terms and privacy policy. Let's enable that and let's log out. And if we register, then I see I agree to terms and service and privacy policy, which is required. So this is how easy it is to enable or disable something in Jetstream. But also, Jetstream is powered by Laravel Fortify, which also has its own config published. And then you can enable or disable the registration, which is the backend part. Next thing is related to Jetstream config. What if we enable the profile photos, for example, and then we register as a new user and you have a default profile photo and if you go to profile here's our new photo generated by our first letters of Harlan Barry for example it was with fake filler so H and B becomes the profile photo how it is generated or maybe you want to change that in the user model of Jetstream you can find a trait called has profile photo and one of the features, one of the method in that profile photo is default profile photo URL. So just generates UIAvatars.com helps to generate the image with this name, with color and background. So if you want to change that behavior, you can just override. So default profile photo URL, you can define that, override the trait here directly in the user model here and define your own behavior, how to generate that default avatar. The next thing is validation rules for passwords and they are easily configurable. So update user password is a class of action of Fortify which is used in here. If you go to profile and want to change the password, it uses a trait called password validation rule which has these password rules listed by default required, string, new password and confirmed. But that new password thing is very powerful. If you click that, we go inside of the vendor folder and let's see what methods password has require uppercase, require numeric, require special character, a lot of rules, a lot of manipulation with error messages like attribute must be at least some length, at least characters, contain at least one uppercase, and there are a lot of possible rules here listed. And on the official page of Laravel Jetstream docs, you have password validation rules. So these are the syntax options which you can use. For example, extend that new password in this trade, like new password, and then add whatever syntax you want. For example, length 10 or whatever you want according to these docs. So this is easy to customize in Jetstream. Also, did you know that Jetstream can teach you how to write automated tests, feature tests, for example? Jetstream comes with a whole suite of tests, tests feature, like authentication test, for example, as I opened it. Test login screen can be rendered, so login works, then test user can authenticate, and other tests, there are like a dozen of tests, like delete account test, for example. And it's also useful for learning, so if you haven't started writing tests, Jetstream can be really useful. So by default installing Jetstream, I haven't touched anything, I haven't customized anything. I go PHP Artisan test without even changing anything in PHP XML or anything. Or actually, I lied, I did change that change password rule before just a minute ago. And now we have the error, the password must be at least 10 characters. And if we remove that thing that I've changed in the trade of password validation rules, so let's just go back to new password. And then our test should be green. PHP Artisan test, some warning here and there, but generally all pass. Another useful but less known feature of Jetstream is banner alerts. It's kind of like sweet alert library. So whenever your action is finished, you can do session flash to flash dot banner. And then it will render something like I found Laravel news article like this on top of your UI on the very top, you will have some kind of message like success message or error message or something like that. And you can also publish the Jetstream views and customize that as blade file to implement your own behavior. 
And finally, speaking of easy ways to do things on the front end in JetStream, let's publish the JetStream views and I will show you how many components are inside of JetStream. So now we have resources, views, vendor, JetStream components. And there are around, I don't know, 20 or 30 components, which you can reuse in other parts of your application. So for example, if we go to login blade, you will see that there's X slot, X jet authentication card, X jet label, jet input. So a really long list of things which you can reuse in your application. And you should probably take some time and review those components, what you can reuse. Probably the best example for me is X jet validation errors which you can just copy and paste as it is here from login blade into any form in your Laravel application. And inside of that jet validation errors, you can find any component by just removing X jet prefix and go resources, views, vendor, jet stream components. And then this is the name of the component. So validation errors blade in this case. And all it does, it shows the errors, it checks the errors, but for any validation form. It's not just about login or register, it's totally reusable for any form in your gesturing application. So I totally encourage you to check out all the components here, and I'm pretty sure some of them will be reusable for the future for all of your application. So these are quick things which I think are less known about Jetstream. Do you use Jetstream? Have you tried? What is your opinion about it as it became mature with version 2 and widely known? So as a starter kit, do you prefer Jetstream? Do you prefer Breeze? Do you prefer the old Laravel UI based on Bootstrap? Or maybe you have your own? Shoot in the comments and let's discuss. And if you want more tips like this one on this channel, subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends to subscribe because I have a silent goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. I would say my chance is 50-50, so you can help me with that. And also you can help me financially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now. Whenever someone buys something from there, it means that I don't need to spend extra time on marketing those products and I can spend more time here on YouTube shooting free videos like this one. See you guys in other videos.